I just spent $1,500 and I am in so much trouble because everything I tried on, I absolutely loved. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Aurelia and I am a personal stylist. My passion in life is to help plus size women look and feel their absolute best. I firmly believe that everyone deserves to look and feel beautiful regardless of size or age. I check out all of these different retailers and bring it to you here on YouTube so that you don't have to do the shopping. You can let me do it for you. I have started a series where I am taking a $1,500 budget and going out and doing some shopping and then bringing what I found here to you on the channel. With this series, I wanted to demonstrate to you what you could get for that budget. I know that a lot of you will not be setting a $1,500 budget to shop, unless of course you're rebuilding your wardrobe. Part of the goal here is to show you that you can pick up really, really good quality pieces. Banana Republic is the first retailer that I decided to tackle. I can honestly tell you right here and now that you cannot find the same quality at Walmart or Target as you can find at a place like Banana Republic. They do have very, very high quality clothing, at least in my experience. And I have been shopping there for a solid 15 years. Now they are somewhat size inclusive. They do have up to a size 20, but I do find in some cases that they do run a little bit big, especially in their knitwear. So keep that in mind. But I really, really think that if you are serious about making an investment in yourself through your wardrobe, then Banana Republic is definitely a place to check out and I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so the first piece that I have today to show you is this Rabia Ponte midi dress. I picked mine up in black. It does come in what they call taupe melange, which is essentially just a cool medium toned brown. I picked mine up in a size extra, extra large. Regular, by the way. I didn't get any petites because Banana Republic does not carry petites in plus size. This dress has got a very, very beautiful, beautiful fit to it. It has got two darts on either side, on the front and on the back. We've got darts on either side. It has a hidden zipper. You do have to undo the zipper in order to be able to get the mock neck over your head. I was not able to get it over my head uh, completely zipped up, but you really only have to unzip it this far. You don't have to go all the way down in order to get it over your head. So that will make it a little bit easier for you to zip it up. It does have little snaps here to close up the mock neck. If you want to, you don't have to. It's in a very nice, lightweight ponte knit and it's got beautiful stitching it's got all the right detailing on the inside in order to keep the structure of the dress it does fit at kind of like a midi length almost because of course being five feet tall it's going to hit longer than they show on the models but for me that's not a big deal that doesn't really bother me a lot it does have pockets guys it has pockets, hallelujah, I love pockets. It is very, very feminine because you've got that double darting on the front and the back. It really emphasizes the waist, you know, so it brings the waist in and then the skirt flares out, which is incredibly flattering for a lot of different body types. You could feasibly belt this dress if you wanted to. I didn't just because I don't want to disrupt the lines of the dress. It's a thinner ponte. It's not as thick as I'm used to feeling a lot of ponties, but it is still very stretchy. So it's going to move very nicely with you. The mock neck is not uncomfortable at all. I was able to get it fully zipped up and I didn't find it uncomfortable in the least. It was actually quite nice. One of the other details that I really like about the dress is that the shoulders come out just a little bit. And so it sits a little bit here at the top of the shoulder, which I think is a really beautiful style detail because especially given that the dress has that um, darting to emphasize the waist, having that on the shoulders brings the shoulders out just a little bit and makes the waist look even smaller. Now for you ladies out there who have got very broad shoulders, I wouldn't let this little detail deter you because it really does a great job of emphasizing the waist and then it comes back out. And so that's gonna help give your body some balance you know, for those of you that are inverted triangles. Cannot say enough good things about this dress. It is stunning. You could wear this dress to work 
for sure, especially if you work in a formal work environment, this would absolutely work for you. You could wear it to church. You could wear it to, God forbid, a funeral. And I love the fact that it comes in that brown color. I really wanted the brown color, but they didn't have my size when I placed the order, but they have since restocked, I think. I don't know. This dress keeps going in and out of stock. And that's the thing about Banana Republic. So make sure that you're following me on Like to Know It and Instagram because it's over there where you're gonna see these things hit first before you see them here on the channel. I really truly think that this dress is a stunner. It is perfection in a lot of ways and it's definitely one to think about picking up. The next dress that I brought in is this Andiamo Merino sweater dress. I brought it in in hyper navy. It also comes in camel and heather gray. I picked mine up in a size extra extra large. It is merino wool. It is of a ribbed construction. I do have it folded over my hanger because it is pretty weighty as far as the knit is. And I don't like hanging my sweater dresses from the shoulders because the weight will pull them down and cause them to distort a little bit in shape and make them longer. But it has a very, very beautiful ribbed navy merino wool. It is a really nice gauge merino wool. Their merino wools are actually ethically sourced and that's really nice. It is very long on us shorties though, not gonna lie, but I'm not mad at it. It does hit me at maxi length. You can mitigate it with a pair of heels. You could also wear boots with it. I think that would look really, really beautiful because you're gonna be nice and warm all the way down to your toes. And also you can wear thermals and stuff underneath it. So, you know, this is definitely a dress that you could wear into the cooler months or into the colder months if you live in a frigid environment. You can wear it on its own because it does have a little bit of shape to it. The skirt does flare out a little bit at the bottom or you could belt it for additional uh, definition for the silhouette. I liked it either way, honestly. I thought that it looked really beautiful both ways. I really, really have to say that I love, love, love Banana Republic's merino wool. They were actually the first place that I tried their merino wool and I've been a fan ever since. It's such high quality. It is a really nice fine gauge also, so it's not overly thick. Really, really beautiful dress, guys one that i think is a perfect investment if you are looking for a sweater dress for the winter and you want something that you can layer over or under um, i really like the fact that this actually i think yeah it has a regular crew neckline so you would be able to wear even a button down shirt and have the collar popping out you know that i have been on the hunt for a couple of things here on the channel I've been on the hunt for a pair of corduroy pants. I've also been dabbling in the barrel leg style. Well, I found them both at Banana Republic. I got these pants. These are a pair of barrel leg corduroy pants. I got mine in the cream white, but they also have them in a French roast brown, which is kind of like an espresso brown. And then they have it in a camel, but I would say that the camel leans a little bit yellowish. To me, it falls more in line with their shade called Whiskey, which is a yellowy brown, but still a very beautiful color. I picked mine up in a 20 regular. These corduroy pants have got a very, very fine whale. I don't know if you can tell, and it's gonna jack with my lighting. The barrel cut, I'm into it, man. I am into that barrel cut. I really, really like it. Now, I would like it better if these pants were at the right length. They should fall just to the ankle. I am going to have to have these altered, but the nice thing about Banana Republic is if you join their rewards program, once you hit icon status, you get free alterations on Banana Republic stuff. Keep in mind that the rewards program spans across all of the Gap family stores because Banana Republic is a Gap store. So if you shop at The Gap, if you shop at Old Navy, if you shop at Banana Republic, if you shop at Athleta, and if you shop at Banana Republic Home and you're part of the rewards program, that status carries across to Banana Republic. So sign up for the rewards program, it's free. They give you like points and you get a little bit of money back if you want to spend and you can spend it anywhere in any of those stores, not just Banana Republic exclusively, but you will get alterations exclusively at Banana Republic. I would have them hem this up like 
one full hem so that it will hit me at where it's supposed to. These are the cords that I am looking for. I also like the pockets, by the way. I like the pockets on these pants. I think that they're really cool. I like the fact that they're that kind of like almost utility carpenter pant kind of pocket in that triangle shape. Um, and then the back pockets have got this little button detail here, which I really love. I like the fact that they've got some of the stitching in the front. So this is how they achieve that barrel leg style. You've got some stitching going down the middle of the leg. It's almost like a, almost like a patchwork. It does have belt loops, so you can wear a belt and they are high-waisted. I can live with that. <laughs> I really, really love these pants, guys. Um, I, yeah, these are staying. These are staying for sure. So I am trying those pants out with this Neza Merino wool sweater shell. I am showing you the black one. I've got another one that I'll show you here in a little bit, but that does come in a Malbec red, a camel and a heather gray. I picked up the size extra, extra large on this. It's again, that soft merino wool, not quite as thick as the dress. It's slightly thinner than the dress, but it is that same ribbed texture. It's got a really beautiful soft mock neck to it. I really love the color selection on these. I feel that these are actually a really, really great base layer. You could wear these under blazers. You could wear them under sweaters. You could wear them under a button down shirt. You could wear them on their own if you're in a warmer climate. I love merino wool because it is very breathable. It is a very temperate kind of fabric. I like the length of the top too. It's actually a good length. So if you don't want to tuck your sweater in, you can have it out. You can blouse it easily as well or fold it under because it is a thinner gauge merino wool knit. And I like the shoulders. The shoulders, once again, they go out just a little bit. They're not like cut right here at the shoulder. They actually are cut about here. And I also like the fact that it's got an interesting stitch detail there at the shoulder. It kind of comes in a little bit there. So it creates this like illusion, this visual line of bringing the shoulders in. These are great basics to have in your wardrobe, especially because they're made of 100% merino wool. These are gonna last you for a really, really long time. You'll be able to pull them out year after year after year, and they're gonna serve you very, very well. So definite great investment basic to have in your closet. Then I brought out a different one. It's essentially the same fabric as the one I showed you beforehand, but it is a V-neck and it has long sleeves. This is the Malbec red. I love this shade of red. It's like a really deep, kind of like reddish burgundy. It's showing really beautifully on the viewfinder there. I picked this one up in an extra large because I did not have a 2XL, but like I mentioned at the start of the video, Banana Republic can run a little bit big sometimes in their knits. And so I, you can go down a size in the knits and still fit it if you're an 18. If you're an 18 like me, you could go down a size and it will still fit you in the knitwear. I love the deep red. I like the fact that it has a V-neck. If mock necks are not your thing, then this is the next best bet with a long sleeve. Um, another great base layer to have. And uh, you know, you can pick up multiples in these and they're gonna be workhorses in your wardrobe. So moving on to the next pant that I picked up. I picked up the Barrel Leg Chino. They come in colors black, whiskey brown, and white. I picked up a size 20 and this is it right here. This has got to be probably the stiffest chino fabric I've ever encountered in my life. It will make some noise. However, I do think that this will soften over time. Right now, these are too long. They're actually supposed to hit like, maybe I wanna say two inches above the ankles. And to me, at that length, they cross over into Capri Land. I am gonna have to have these hemmed though because they are too long. I didn't really like the way they looked when I had them all the way down, but then I folded one leg up just to show you what it would look like. And I liked it much, much better that way. And so if I were to keep these, I would definitely want them to pull, you know, to bring the hem up. I would have them do one full hem up so that that way they hit right at the ankle. These are a beautiful, beautiful work pant when they are at the right length. If you are like me, five feet tall, you might like them actually at regular length. That's not how I envisioned wearing these. That's why I want to bring the length up, but you could feasibly get away with wearing them at regular length if you were five feet tall and just wanted to wear like a, a full length pant. I feel that it disrupts the barrel shape though. I think the barrel shape pants are best worn a little bit higher up on the hem. I think that's how they shine the best. This is a very beautiful work pant though. Really, really nice pant for the office. You could wear these casually too, but I was like, nah, maybe I'll return these. But then once I put a little heel on, 
completely changed my mind because I felt that that looked so sophisticated. The length was perfection at that point. And I just feel that these would be much better at that length. And then you could always wear like a boot underneath them if you want to later on in the season to cover your ankles so that you're not quite cold. A few details about this pant though, is that it has back pockets. As you can see, they're not buttoned. They actually have a cuff that's stitched in, which I think is a really, really nice detail. They do have one pleat here. They have slash pockets and no belt loops. They're fantastic. I've been trying to get away from wide leg pants. And I think that these barrel pants are like the next best alternative. You might disagree, but on me personally, when I look at myself in them, I'm all like, yes, I'm here for it. So I love these pants. I decided to bring in some cashmere to this haul because I figured it was about time. And so I picked up this Luna cashmere sweater polo. This comes in navy blue, which is what I picked up. It also comes in red, pink, forest green, and then any other neutral you can think of like beige, gray, cream, white, black, a deeper gray, I think. It had a lot of colors in this particular sweater. And it's no wonder, this would make an excellent Christmas gift for someone if they, if you wanted to get them a really lovely cashmere sweater that isn't your typical crew neck sweater. This has a really lovely collar on it. And I like the fact that the collar kind of goes out a little bit because it gives kind of like a portrait collar kind of a uh, feel to it. This is so soft and luxurious. It is a thicker, cashmere than I thought it was going to be. I'm used to kind of thinner cashmeres, but this one is a little bit thicker. And what I like about it is that it has this ribbing here down at the bottom. I'm not sure what this detail is called, but it cause it helps the sweater to blouse beautifully. So this ribbing sits on your waist in a really beautiful way. And then the sweater blouses over really, really beautifully. It's a very, very flattering sweater. It comes at a really nice length, not too long, not too short. I can't say enough good things about it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cashmere sweater. It feels soft. It feels luxurious. Well, I'm wearing it with a black chino barrel pant and I feel that it just looks so sophisticated. Definitely has a quiet luxury look and feel about it. It's perfection guys. This little sweater is better in my opinion than a crew neck sweater. I also wanted to quickly show you the Merino mock neck sweater in the Malbec, Malbec red. Beautiful, beautiful wine red ribbing, just like the black one, fits just like the black one. Looks really stunning with the, the barrel chino that I just showed. Uh, but again, this makes a great base layer under so many things. And this red color is so hot right now. I had a hard time getting my hands on this. It kept selling out and coming back and selling out and coming back. And it will likely be that way the rest of the season. Definitely a really good merino wool basic to have in your wardrobe. This next piece really blew my mind. It really did. It is this stretch Ponty blazer. I picked it up in navy blue, but they also carried in black. I picked mine up in a size 2XL. This blazer, this blazer is such a well-constructed blazer. I love looking at blazer construction because it really determines how good the blazer is going to be how long it's going to last and how well it's going to hold its structure. And this particular blazer has got some really cool details. The stitching is superb outside and inside along the lining. It has got a really, really good flat, really nice stitching. It is also partially lined. It has lining along the front panels. It's not lined on the back. And hallelujah, it is not lined on the sleeves, which means that the sleeves are gonna move and be super comfortable because it is a Ponte knit. It has such beautiful, beautiful clothes stitching on the sleeve hole. And to me, these construction points make this blazer 100% A++ worth the money. Absolutely worth what you're paying for because this particular blazer is going to stay with you for years, years. You're going to be able to wear this blazer. It's going to hold up so well over time. It is stretchy. All of it is Ponty and it moves with you, which is really wonderful. It has dark buttons, which I really like. I love it when a 
a retailer pays so much attention to detail that they even look at the buttons that are being put with the blazer and you don't have a button that's contrasting with the blazer it actually kind of blends in and really gives the blazer a really luxurious expensive streamlined look if you're looking for an alternative to the black and navy blazer that you see me wearing all the time this is the one this is the alternative it is just as stretchy as that blazer it has a beautiful structure it is so well constructed it has a lot of really great details by the way i forgot to mention it's got pockets in the front which normally i don't like but on this blazer i thought it was really nice um it's very 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 did i say very well made so good guys absolutely worth the investment if you're serious about investing in your wardrobe this is one that you need to get because it's going to last you forever the last piece that i have for you is this adi alpaca blend cardigan i got mine in charcoal gray it also comes in light heather gray i picked mine up in a size 2xl i love the cropped oversized look of this blazer it is very very fuzzy so you are going to need a debobbler with this sweater probably after the first couple wearings but the nature of natural fabrics the cashmere and the merino will include it it is going to peel up that just it happens and you will need a debobbler to come in and take those off definitely worth the maintenance because the material is so good now what i will say if you have wool sensitivity this is not going to be your friend this is actually going to itch you terribly you could wear something underneath it that will mitigate the itchiness but just know that wearing the on the bare skin it's going to itch you this is really really luxurious i think it fits so beautifully i really really love that oversized slouchy kind of sexy kind of look that it has definitely screams quiet luxury to me it has that um this old thing i only wear it when i don't care what i look like kind of vibe to it <sighs> I love, love, love this sweater. I think that it is beautiful. It is so soft. It is so cozy. It is so luxurious. It is just everything. It's amazing. And um, I'm gonna have a hard time parting ways with it because I really do need a cardigan like this in this color. Uh, I don't have a black one like this and I just love it because you can put it with anything and it's gonna make everything that it, you wear it with look fantastic. So. Yeah, this is a good one, guys. I got 11 total pieces at Banana Republic. The 11th piece has not arrived. It is this Italian wool vest that I was very intrigued to try. I will have to try it for you on Like to Know It and Instagram, so make sure that you're following me there. What I liked about it is the colorway, first of all. I keep looking for a dupe for the one that I got from Target. These are miles apart in pricing, but it's Italian wool guys. So that vest is actually built to last, I think, I hope. I like the fact that it's streamlined. I like the fact that it, the neck is not so low that you can wear it on its own. You don't have to wear anything on underneath it. I like the fact that it tapers in. I can't remember if it has got any kind of like buckle in the back to tighten it up because the vests that I've gotten don't have that. And so sometimes I feel they fit a little bit loose through back here and I could use that bit of tightening in the back in order to give it a little bit more of a fitted look. Um, so I'll have to check to see if it has that. And if it does, then that's a definite bonus. But I will be trying that out for you guys on Like to Know It as well as on Instagram. So again, if you wanna see it, check me out over there. I'm gonna leave you with my Talbot's haul right here because I found some really beautiful things over there as well. So thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me. Truly appreciate it. And I hope to see you in that video. Bye.